<laughs> hey, folks, no watchers or warnings in effect for the valley right now at all. And there's a chance there won't be any, but the possibility is there tonight. We're looking at about a 30% chance of something severe, at least reaching the upper valley. Star County in particular, and maybe as far east as Hidalgo County, maybe into McAllen as well before the night's over with. So we're keeping a close eye on this stuff to see how it happens. Off to the west, we are seeing thunderstorms firing up in the mountains, and we'll look at the bigger picture in a moment. But over the valley, nothing yet. Now you look over here, you see the edge of those thunderstorms right at the end of the loop. There you go. Just kind of showing up. So that's the stuff we're going to watch. And Future Track says by 8 o'clock we'll see scattered showers around the valley and as the night goes on look how it turns yellow and orange and red and pink this is by about 11 o'clock tonight so future track suggests we do see severe weather moving into the upper valley between now and midnight and then it moves eastward and then loses a lot of its strength we think the cap the warm air loft is going to probably hold over the lower valley that means the thunderstorms won't make it through in the severe range, but they will still come through with thunder and lightning and perhaps some gusty winds, but perhaps not severe, and then move out. Now still at four o'clock in the morning, leftover rain in the lower valley, and then finally it's all gone, and we get back to sunshine for tomorrow and much lower humidity. So thunderstorm timing tonight, looking at about eight to 10 p.m. for the western part of the valley, for uh, let's say, well, let's just say Hidalgo County, uh, Star County, mostly 8 to 10 p.m. Hidalgo County, you're looking at about 9 to 11 p.m., all the way over to about Mercedes, something like that. And then beyond 10 to midnight for the lower valley and then sticking around with leftover stuff after that. That's the best idea on timing. Now let's look at what the severe weather risk is for tonight. If you look, take a closer look, lower valley non-severe. Things should begin to weaken once they get past Highway 69C or 281. Still a marginal risk for strong storms in the west. That means isolated severe storms are possible. Not likely, but possible. Again, we're putting the chance at about 30% for something to come together. There's only a 2% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of any point in that green area. So it just kind of clips northwest Star County. You're only talking 2%, but usually it's zero. If you look at the bigger picture, there's a 5% for southeast Texas. So that a bigger area was has a bigger threat. And again, typically the threat is zero. So you get up to 5%. That's a lot. Now take a look at this 15% chance of 60 mile per hour winds within 25 miles of any point. Come back in closer to the valley now, and that's a 5% chance basically for all of Store County and northwestern Hidalgo County, the eastern part of the valley, not on the chart for that. So hopefully things fall apart and about a 5% chance for one inch hail or larger. Again, within 25 miles of any point. So if you live here, somebody within 25 miles of you, a 5% chance they'll get some large hail. Notice you get north of it's a large area in that 15% category as issued by the Storm Prediction Center. So again, we're looking at a uh, small to medium chance for damaging winds, primarily in the upper valley, damaging hail, small to medium chance, especially from 281 westward or I-69 C westward. Flooding rainfall, not a problem. Not a 0% chance of a tornado. You saw that 2% chance out in the northwestern corner. So this system moves through. Front pushes through, dry air builds in. Once that happens, it turns nice. And it stays nice for the rest of the week and into the weekend. I think humidity will probably come back along about, oh, Saturday night or Sunday, something like that. So until then, it looks pretty good. So tonight, mostly cloudy. Scattered showers and storms. Some could be severe primarily in the western half of the valley. Southeast winds turning around to the northwest. Then tomorrow, some leftover clouds in the morning, but then beautiful, less humid. Back to 91, but with that northwest wind, drier air will build in. It should be pretty comfortable. So less humid tomorrow. Looks nice on Friday. Saturday looks great. Sunday, a few more clouds, a little more humid, and then we stay that way all the way into the middle part of next week. So the only area of concern is late tonight into tomorrow. And of course, we'll keep an eye on that here on air, online, on Facebook, every place to let you know what's happening. That's your update. First one five, AccuWeather forecast.